Okay, welcome to the weekend. We've got Jesse here this morning with one of his favourite mm. breakfast. Mm. Haven't you? Eat all your fruit first, mm. which is good. Um, and I'm starting this video off with Christmas vibes, even though I'm always Christmas vibes anyway, even in summer. Um, but I have had a delivery this morning from Ivy Grey Interiors. I ordered some of their autumn bits and absolutely loved it. And their Christmas stuff is well just out of this world let me just say that look at this christmas tissue paper so i'm gonna get in if i'm honest i can't remember what i've actually ordered i know i've ordered one thing for my mum in there i've ordered her a little um not as a christmas present just something to give her now it's like a little christmas decoration but i'll go through everything um when i open it let's open it together now actually because i'm so excited are you excited jesse and then I need to do some tidying in this house because it's gone out of hand again. Um, and yeah, look at my Christmas tree, guys. <laughs> it's not fully done. Obviously, I've not even started decorating it and it's not going in here. But I need to clean the house first before I put any decorations up. But I really wanted to get it fluffed up. So I fluffed it and it's staying there until we're ready to put them up. I hope this is an all right position. I might be a bit lopsided because you're on top of a box. But let's dive in. First thing, oh, this is so cute. Right, I've ordered a pillar. Oh, this is so cute. So I did want this other pillar, but it ran out of stock because I left it too long. You know when you have something in your basket for ages and you're like, right, I'll go and place my order then. And then I went to go and place my order and it had run out of stock. So, oh, this is so, oh, this is actually gorgeous. Look at that. And it says all hearts come home for Christmas. I've got something to match with this, I think. But it's got these little bobbles on the side to look how adorable is that i absolutely love that i'm hoping to get the other pillar from somewhere else and hoping that they restock it it's like a little long pillar that says this house believes and um, they did have another one that said like snow is falling or something but i really loved the this house believes and it would have matched really nicely with this so they're the only pillars i'm going to be getting because i did go a bit overboard with the autumn cushions and yeah it was too much on the sofa um oh this is the thing to go with it so now that we have both of the conservatory doors open hi jesse <laughs> um this door right here um won't stay like fully open like that so i've actually bought a door stop to go there and i thought it look it's going back in now um and it matches with that pillar i think oh yeah it says home for christmas and i thought that would just look so cute just sat down holding the door open you know just all the little nice details are so cute so that is so cute and everything is always such good quality from here as well this is for my mum i've ordered this so again i left it too late to order i had this in my basket and it ran out of stock i don't know why i just don't learn from my lessons and order it when i see it but basically um this is the little thing that i've got it says merry christmas and it's got robins either side so um my but in fact both my granddads passed away before i was born um, so i've never actually got to meet any of my granddads um but my mum has always said from being a young girl that whenever there's a robin around it's her dad and um at my gender reveal if you watch the video back it's on my instagram there's like a little video of a robin and that robin was around the whole day through my gender reveal and mum kept saying oh it's my dad it's my dad um and when we went on holiday for when we went to Thought Park, obviously we took my nan on with us, um, there was a little robin stood outside the caravan and we again, my mum were like, oh, it's my dad. Um, she always says like robins, she loves robins anyway. Um, originally, I did want to get the one that said um, robins appear when loved ones are near, but it had, um, it's run out. But I thought this would be nice anyway because she loves the robins and I thought this little Merry Christmas would be cute. She can put that somewhere. And then I got this. This is actually from Ginger Ray. I didn't realise this was from Ginger Ray. Um, but it's simply just a Merry Christmas bunting. Um, and I was going to put that across the two doors here into the living room. I thought that would be nice. Just a little Merry Christmas. And then this one. I'm hoping this lives up to my expectations. Um, if you remember, if you watched one of my videos ages ago, I think it's actually when I did the autumn haul from Ivy Grey Interiors, um, I mentioned that they had like this Santa mail post box thing and I said I wanted to get it because um, I wanted to start a tradition with Jesse that the letter from Santa and the certificate from Santa saying he's been a good boy um, 
has arrived in the Santa mailbox. So I'm hoping this is big enough to be able to do that. It does say on the website that the thing does open, but I just thought it'd be so lovely every year to, you know, have his little Santa letter appear in the Santa mailbox. So there was also a letters to Santa one as well, but I thought I might get that in a few years time when he understands a little bit more and he can actually post the letter through the letters to Santa. Or we might just do, do it through an actual post box. But here it is, let's have a look. I'm so excited to see it. I don't know if it's gonna fit in like the stuff that I'm gonna be getting in. Oh, it's really cute though. So this is it, it's the little Santa mailbox with a little wreath on the front. And there we go, it opens up. Um, and I reckon I can maybe shove it in there, you know, stick it out a little bit. But I thought, like I said, that, that tradition, I think will be so lovely for him. I think it's going to be really exciting if he comes home one day from, like, say, school when he's a bit older and he sees that Santa's dropped his um, letter off and certificate for being a good boy. So I really like this. I was expecting it to be a tiny little bit bigger, um, but it's still nice. I can still do... can still use it for what I wanted. Um, I'll just have to try and... Maybe I'll just have to open this and stick it out. But, yeah, I thought this would could stay in our family for years and years to come. Everything I bought from Ivy Gray Interiors, I'm pretty sure I ordered something else, I must have not added it on. Um, but yeah, very happy as always with my purchase. I think this might be my favorite actually. This is so cute. Um, but I'm gonna put this away now because I'm not actually decorating for Christmas just yet. I am desperate to though, honestly. I asked a question on Instagram yesterday if everyone had decorated and the majority of people said no. Then I did get lots of messages saying, no, can you put yours up so I can persuade my husband or my partner that um, I need to put it up. So I do need to do a tidy of the house first. I keep saying this, I really need to. And I want to film that as well. I want to film a, a clean Christmas, clean with me for Christmas. So I'm gonna put these away now, probably put them back in the box, try and find somewhere to put them. Are you saying dad, dad, dad? Are you eating all your breakfast? Um, so today, Jimmy has got his hair cutting, which is exciting. <laughs> I don't know if me and Jessie are up to anything, um, apart from later on. Um, we are going to a bonfire, obviously it's bonfire night today. Happy bonfire night, everybody. Um, and also, guys, just another exciting piece of news. Um, Matilda has had her baby girl, which is so exciting. Um, she arrived this morning and she is so gorgeous and so cute and i can probably say her name now because because she will have probably put it on instagram but little heidi is here um heidi is such a lovely name isn't it? it's so cute that's so exciting and i'm so happy for her and it's just I'm so exciting so anyway let me put this away um this i actually do think this is so cute <laughs> little santa mail it's so cute right anyway christmas is just like filling my brain at the minute um which is a good thing obviously i'm gonna give this to my mum today and um because i'm seeing her so she can put that out for christmas time when she decorates but my mum doesn't normally decorate yeah. until the first of december so once jesse's at his breakfast i'm gonna probably get us both ready for the day and all right now with you didn't we you got up at six and we just all chilled in bed this morning for about an hour, didn't we? Well, I said chilled, you were just like wrecking the bedroom. But <laughs> apart from that, he slept really well. You've ate all your fruit first, which is amazing. Yeah. You've had raspberries and blueberries, haven't you? Blueberries are your favourite. Oh, are you alright? Was that a gag or were you just opening your mouth? What's yeah. that skull, Jessie? Mm. We can take his strip off on Monday. Um, it seems to be healing pretty well. We have got a photo shoot tomorrow um, and Katie who was doing it has kind of just messaged me saying that she'll be able to edit the strip out for us on his head. So that's good. <laughs> um, although I can imagine it being quite funny in years to come when he's older looking back on these photos with like a strip on his head. Um, but yeah, it's healed all right. We got him in the bath last night, just a body wash. We can't get the... the hair wet so, sorry we can't get the head wet and then i just sprayed some coconut water on his head just to freshen him up a little bit yeah what's up he keeps doing this face he's so funny oh it looks so cute and it does hold the door open which is amazing look how cute that looks oh my goodness how excited are you for christmas jesse i think i might actually try <laughs> let me see what this pillow looks like I think this pillar is so cute. I actually, I think that's my favourite thing I've bought, you know. That is so cute. 
Right, let's put it on here. Oh, All hearts come home for Christmas. That is adorable. Also, guys, I've never had these before. And I'm a bit addicted now. Treeslets. <laughs> I picked them up in Tesco the other day. They are gorgeous. I'm probably late to the to the gang because I know everyone buys them at Christmas time. But so Jimmy's just nipped out first thing. And um, he says if I tidy the house when he gets when he gets back we can watch a Christmas film. So that's motivated me to tidy the house up. I'm gonna do that now, and then we're gonna watch a Christmas film, um, which is so exciting. Like as if he's suggested to watch a Christmas film. He knows me too well. Um, I don't know if I was going out with my mum a bit later on as well. Um, I'm not sure what the plans are. But we're not going until, to the bonfire until later on tonight. It's a local one. But the one that we can walk up to because it gets extremely busy with cars. So we're actually going to be walking up there tonight. But yeah, Jessie's going to have a bit of a walk about at the bonfire tonight, aren't you? And there's a fireworks display um, a bit later on in the night. So we can still go and enjoy the bonfire and the fun fair rides and things. Um, and then if he doesn't like the fireworks, we'll just have to come home. It's no problem. But I mean, a few went off last night, didn't they? And you didn't seem to be bothered. But obviously he's actually going to be outside tonight with them. I'm going to wrap you up nice and warm. Yeah? And we're going to get all wrapped up. So, I mind the appearance of the winter coat might be out tonight. Uh, I hope it still fits me. <laughs> we'll have to see. But, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you still eating? He is such a slow eater, but then he has been in the high chair after like a certain amount of time. So he still wants to eat after he's been taken out of the high chair. Don't you? Right, guys, Jessie's just having a nap. It's 20 to 2. Wow, today's going quick. <laughs> um, I tidied the whole living room. Jimmy did the kitchen and I did the conservatory, so it's all clean. But whilst Jessie's sleeping, I have come to tackle the dreaded room. I've mentioned the past few weeks this room is a joke, it is horrendous. And I don't actually think I want to show you the full thing <laughs> because it's that bad. It is so bad. Um, I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. So this is the current state of my dressing table. Yes, believe it or not, this is where I do my makeup when I actually put it on. Um, I know it's bad, isn't it? It's really bad. I know this is really embarrassing. Um, the rest of the house isn't like this. It's just this room gets a bit neglected. And I've got a lot of crap in here that needs to just get thrown away. So I'm going to bring a bin bag in and start throwing bits away. Just be ruthless and get it all tidied. And then I can maybe start making it look a little bit prettier. We've got these shelves up here and I barely use them. Um, we've also got no blinds in this room. This is going to be... The next time I do a blinds order, it's going to be this room and Jesse, Jesse's room. And then the blinds are all done, apart from minus the conservatory ones. Um, so it'll look a lot better once we get... Um, blinds in here as well because it really does make it like totally change it you know how much it changed the bedroom so it will totally change it when we get them up in here so I'm just going to make a start because um it's well it's two o'clock and then we're going to get ready for the bonfire we're not going until a little bit later on we've got Ellie and Lee coming with us too they're um coming here and we're all going to walk up together so I'm looking forward to it I love bonfire night so much I think it's so cute um, like I said, we didn't do anything last year because Jesse was tiny, tiny. Um, but we'll see if he enjoys it tonight. Uh, I've also just noticed we've got the carrier, this baby carrier. Um, I don't know if he'll still be in the weight, like be able to go in there with how much he weighs. Let me have a look because I'm not sure if he'll weigh too much now. Only use this carrier for babies between 12 and 33 pounds. And when we had the helpers to check, which was about a month, two months ago, he was £22. So surely he's not put £10 on in that time. He can't have, can he? I don't know. I don't know whether it's worth putting him in this, you know. Taking him in this. I don't know, what do you think? I might ask Jimmy to see what he thinks. Jimmy, what do you think about taking him in this tonight? He's still love to go in it because he's in the right weight thing. You want to carry him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, 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 um, what's it mean? What, was, what am I trying to say? It levels out, doesn't it? Levels out. It levels out. It's not like you're holding him, like hurting your arm. What do you think? I'm just thinking because Pram were really difficult to push last time. You know, when we went to car show at Lock Park and Pram were really difficult. I think he's a bit big for that. Do you think? Yeah. Well, he's still, he's still in weight. I think he's a massive feel look in it, though. I know, because he's, he's wearing a little he's huge. thing he's as well. Do you know what? We've never used this as well. 
never use that. Set the pram then. <laughs> um, but I'm going to let him walk though for most of it. I'm going to take him out when we get up there. We've never used this. I think I'm going to give this to charity because it's a really good one. We didn't actually buy it. I think they're about £130 to buy. Um, someone donated it to us. Someone gave it us. In fact, we've got two given to us. I've given one to Matilda and I've got this one. So I think I'm going to give that to charity. So I'll put that in my bag upstairs. Um, I need to start this room. I've just been talking to him and not actually getting it done. Great. Sounds sounds um, usual for me. I'm gonna get a bin bag. I'm gonna make a start. I'll do a before and after for you so you can um, see how far I get and then I've got to like hold myself accountable if I don't get it done. Uh, but yeah, let's see how much I can get done. So here's a quick before. This is what I mean when I keep stuff for the sake of it. There's literally been an empty mask sat in the back of the drawer. Like, why? Why don't I just throw it away? Why do I have to keep hold on to stuff that I can't use anymore? After! <laughs> this is not fully finished, guys. As you can see, I need to wipe all this. This isn't muck, this is uh, like powder, like makeup powder. I need to give it a good hoover. Um, but I have got a bin bag full of rubbish and also a bag for charity with some bags in, some purses. What else did I put in there? This little book thing uh, that I'm going to give to charity. Um, so yeah, pretty much all, well, as you can see, it's so much better in here. And Jessie's going to start racking everything out. You can actually see the floor. But now I'm going to go back in the conservatory because that's now a mess again. Well, it's not messy. It's just Jessie's just had his dinner in there and there's um, food all over the floor. Um, I also need to sort this out for my brother. Um, this is going to my brother now. He's having this, but I need to wipe it like wipe the system and give it a good clean because it's uh, quite mucky but very happy that is done I actually didn't tempt me as long as I thought which is really good I should have just done it ages ago now tomorrow I am um, well we've got a photo shoot first thing tomorrow morning which I'm going to bring you all along to I cannot wait I'm so looking forward to it um, we've actually got a Christmas shoot booked in with her as well um, but tomorrow I'm going to bring you along and show you everything that we're going to be doing in a little photo shoot um, and then after that I'm dropping Jessie off at my mum's um, Jimmy is doing his car and then I've got the house to myself to film my get ready for Christmas clean with me uh, which I'm so excited for because I didn't think I'd be able to do this until Wednesday because that's the next like free day I had where I'd be on my own um, but I can do it tomorrow, so I'm going to get filming that tomorrow. So I don't want to clean too much because I need to leave it for my video, but I can't wait. I can't wait to get ready for Christmas. And do you know what? If I can get it all done tomorrow, I might just pop the tree up on Monday, Jimmy. What do you oh, think? It's already up, it's on. Yeah, it's already up, but it's not decorated, is it? It's already up though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's not like a real Christmas tree yet. Yeah, it is. It's not. It's a tree. Oh, but it's, it's not ready though. It plastic. needs a bit more fluff and it's also it's lopsided. It's Jimmy? It's fake. Yeah, I know it's fake. It's not good enough. Sure. <laughs> I love a real one. <laughs> I'd love a real Christmas tree one day. Nah, because you get spiders in your house. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't. It does. If you think about all the insects that carry it on the tree into your house. It's a real tree. So, I, don't know, I forgot what I was saying, but anyway, I'm filming my Christmas clean with me tomorrow, which I cannot wait for. Super duper excited to get this house all ready for crumble time. The autumn decorations have fully, well, they've not gone, they still need to be put up in loft. Cough, cough. Um, but look, my little snuggle season pillar's gone. I know that snuggle season pillar would have been alright for Christmas, but... Um, I'm kind of going for different colours. Obviously, autumn I had like all the lovely oranges and the reds, but for Christmas we're going for glitter, sparkly gold, sparkly silvers, um, and it just didn't fit with the vibe, the snuggle season pillar anymore. So that's going to be like an autumn pillar, um, and yeah, it's all ready to go up into the loft, which is. Oh, I need to give Ellie her tray back. Went out for dinner, breakfast with her the other day and I forgot to give it her and she's coming here tonight before we go to the bonfire. And it's been in my conservatory for ages. She gave us this to borrow for Jessie's birthday party, so I need to leave that out. So I don't forget to give it her. Right, bedroom, all tidy. Just done a quick clean up in here, trying to keep on top of it. Gave it a quick hoover. This is a bag filling up for charity. So I've got the box in here because there's anyone else's 
paper bin get filled up so quick and ours is collected like every four weeks so it's been super full it got collected on friday and now it's full again <laughs> so i've not literally got no room for that and um, but just wanted to say i've ordered something for the bedroom Um i can't remember your name i'm so sorry um but i think you might have messaged me on instagram saying um basically i put a photo up of the bedroom with the blinds and they said oh uh, uh, like white and oak um radiator cover would look lovely there and i looked at it and i thought Do you know what it really would finish it off uh, i mean obviously it's just a radiator but i think the cover would just make it look so much better and she also said it's also another excuse to put like little knickknacks on there and stuff and i was like perfect i've had a look and i saw one that i liked in the range um they didn't have the size in that i needed though they only had the extra extra large would have been too big and then um i had a look on very last night and they got some back in so i've ordered it i think it's coming in like two days um and i'm so excited because i feel like i want to do a little christmas scene on top of the radiator cover uh, i've ordered some little wooden houses to go on top of it just for christmas um but yeah just thought i'd mention that because i'm so excited for those to come but the living it's feeling so cozy in the house like because we've spent today like cleaning and making well we've not done a deep clean but we've you know tidied places done a quick wipe over it just feels really really lovely and i'm just getting even more excited for this time of year now especially with it being bonfire night i just love bonfire night so much it's quarter to five um so i've probably got just about two hours to get ready well to be ready um so there's loads of clothes that need putting away on the stairs so i think i'm gonna do that and then i'm probably gonna start getting this all ready because i want to pop some makeup on tonight um I don't know why when we'll be in darkness but it just makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> and especially now that that room's tidy downstairs i can actually sit in it in peace and not be like stressed out trying to find a concealer um so yeah feeling good i am really looking forward to tonight i'm just hoping jesse doesn't get scared at the fireworks um but we're gonna get some food there and hopefully there's some little rides for jesse i think they might all be like for older kids but if there's like a little ride you can go on we'll have a look anyway either way it's going to be a lovely night i'm looking forward to it and tomorrow is going to be an even lovelier day hopefully i'm gonna say that i'm not going to be with jesse for the rest of the day after we've had his photo shoot but i'm so excited to get cleaned for christmas and film it for you all um yeah i just can't wait honestly guys i'm just constantly in a good mood this time of year if it's christmas all year round i would be the happiest person in the entire world but let me put these clothes away and then we're gonna start getting ready makeup is all done i feel like i've put loads on i don't know why i look a bit more cakey than usual uh, but i need to sort my hair out so my hair is in desperate need of a wash i was gonna do it last night and then i thought what is the point because it's gonna stink a fire into it after tonight so i'm just gonna shove it up in a half up half down out way and this room is so much better now like we've actually got a floor minus the rubbish that i need to take out i'm gonna have to put you like this because if not you can't see me at all uh, but jess is wearing a footless sleep suit um so he can wear socks and he's got a long sleeve vest on underneath and then he's wearing a lovely padded snowsuit which like i said i'm hoping fits him because he's actually never wore it and it's in nine to twelve months um but with it being footless i think it'll be all right he's been a little bit upset tonight aren't you little boy so you can sit on mummy's knee while she does her hair but i am so looking forward to tonight i really really am uh, it's gonna be lovely we're gonna get some food there um i'm quite hungry though actually and jimmy is as well but after doing all that cleaning oh my goodness i'm so warm <laughs> it's unreal um but do you know what guys i'm so excited to whip that winter coat out and i'm so glad i can be covered from head to toe i love summer fashion it's i love summer fashion but I just you just can't beat being in turtlenecks and like boots and big coats and scarves i love it um so yeah it's so exciting because i love wearing big jumpers a good turtleneck that'll do me um and a big coat the last time i wore this coat was ages ago um it's, it was from zara last year when jesse was first born and i love it absolutely love it so i'm hoping it still fits me because i have put a little bit more weight on um from last year which is totally fine totally normal and the reason is is because i don't exercise enough simple exciting piece of news whilst we're on that topic kind of is we are going on our first family holiday next year abroad um we well it got booked today so 
I am so excited for Jess's first time on a plane. And our first family holiday abroad, we're going to Cyprus, which I've been to Cyprus before in 2018 and I absolutely loved it, but we're going to a different area this time. So um, I'm not gonna put any pressure on myself, but I would like to lose a tiny bit of weight for next year. Obviously I'm gonna be in a bikini um, and I just want to feel good in myself. This is not about losing loads of weight. So, you know, I'm all slim and stuff. As long as I feel good in myself, that's all that matters. Um, and to be honest, I feel all right now, you know, I'm not like, oh my God, I f whatever. Um, but maybe just a little bit off, <laughs> it would be okay. But the main thing is, guys, is that you feel all right in your own body. Anyway, hair time. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Very tired little boy who was gonna fall to sleep straight as soon as we put him in that pram. I know he is. We'll see if he can have a little walk around. If not, he's absolutely fine. But he's wanting lots of pickups, aren't you, from mummy and cuddles? But that's absolutely fine. I'm not complaining at that. You look very tired, little man. Bless him. Um, so this is the snowsuit that he is gonna be wearing tonight. Um, oh, I didn't realize it's got fold over little hands. I've got him some mittens in the bag as well. Um, but it's footless, so obviously can still walk around, which is what we want. I definitely think this is going to fit him. It looks quite big actually to say it's 9 to 12. And I think this is from the White Company, I believe. Yeah, the White Company. Um, and it's all nice and fluffy. Well, actually, let's open it up. Is it fluffy inside? Or it's like quilted inside. So it'll still keep him nice and warm. Nice little hood. Are you excited, Jesse? Your first proper bonfire night. As last year we stayed at home. Oh, look at you! It's absolutely massive for him, guys, and it's in 9 to 12. And it's so long and so big, but it looks so cute. It just fits. Oh, Jesse, it's not even fully zipped up properly. Because it's too big. <laughs> you look so cute! Be nice Are you and warm excited? Oh yeah, we'll be lovely and warm. Lovely and toasty. Right, we're well, already Ellie and Lee are on the way. We've got a little man in his suit. We're gonna put his shoes in the bag. Because he'll just rip them off in the pram and then hopefully if he doesn't fall asleep, um we can get him out. Look, he's taking his socks off now as it is. <laughs> Leave those on, little man. I'm gonna lie, he's not in the best of moods, are you little man? But I think it's because he's tired. He went down for a nap early and five minutes later woke up again. So I definitely think he's sleepy. Um, and if he does go to sleep, then that's absolutely fine. Isn't it? At least we've got it on film with your first bonfire night. You can watch it back when you're older. That mummy, what mummy's filmed. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We're here. It's absolutely packed. Jess is fast asleep too. Yeah, just wait for the fireworks. Don't even know if you can hear me. Whole world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this. <laughs>
to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so. Oh, 